Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsbyHeather.com where my goal is to provide you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, we're going to look at hair issues inside of Photoshop, but first, make sure you check out my free workflow video series available on my website. I mentioned my friend Angie in a previous video when I cloned her eyelashes, and in this video, we're going to fix her hair. Angie is losing her hair because she is battling cancer for the second time, and she opted to wear a wig for her wedding. Please show her some love on my blog, some encouragement via the link below. Because of the weight of the hair and the veil, it kept sliding back on her head, exposing the band. It wasn't necessary to fix it in every photo, but for this one, it was really obvious. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this photo by pressing Command or Control Plus on the keyboard, Spacebar to access the pan tool. And I already ran my Weddings by Heather retouch action on this photo. This was the before, and this is the after. And now what I'd like to do is create a copy layer of all of the changes I've already made. And in order to do that, you hold down Command, Option, Shift, that's Control, Alt, Shift on the PC, and the letter E. And what that does is merges up. So it takes an exact duplicate of everything you've worked on, and it puts it on a new layer. I think you might be surprised to learn that this is actually a pretty easy fix inside of Photoshop, and it does not involve the clone stamp tool, because you could sit here forever and try to clone her hair in over that band that's pushing back from her wig, and it would not look normal. You can go ahead and try that on your own, <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is take the easy route. So I need to expose the rulers by pressing Command or Control R on the keyboard, and I need to use some guides in order to help me. So in order to access your guides, if you have your Move tool selected, V on your keyboard, and you place your cursor inside of the ruler, you can click and drag down in order to get a guide. And I actually need two of them so I can see the area that I'm working on. So I'm gonna place them. One is right above the band and the other is just above her hairline. These guides will not print, and in order to toggle them on on or off, just press Command or Control on your keyboard and the semicolon, and you can turn those off and turn them back on. I'm gonna make sure I have my Move tool selected. Yes, I do, it's V on the keyboard. And you can use your arrow keys to nudge this photo down one pixel at a time, but I don't have that kind of time, so I'm gonna hold down Shift and use my down arrow, which nudges it 10 pixels at a time. So that's much faster. And what I'm trying to do is get some hair inside of those guides that I've created. Next, I'm going to add a layer mask by clicking the layer mask icon in the layers palette. I need to fill that layers mask with black. So if I make sure that black is my background color, I can simply press Command Delete or control backspace on the PC. And now obviously it doesn't look like anything has occurred because remember when working with layer masks, white reveals and black conceals. So I just hid everything inside of layer one. But now I'm gonna use my brush tool set to white and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger using my right bracket key. And I'm gonna start to brush in this area to bring her hair in. And you can see what's happening. What I'm doing is revealing the contents inside of layer one. I'm gonna turn these guides off because they're really hindering my view. Remember that's command or control semicolon. And I can start to brush her hair in like this. And I see a repeating pattern here. So I'm just going to press X on my keyboard in order to change my brush to black so that I can conceal that. And I can look at the before and after and maybe work over here just a little bit more. Let's zoom out to make sure we're going in a good direction. Remember that's Command or Control minus on your keyboard. This is before and this is after. And I actually think that looks really good. You could again work with your mask using a black and white brush to reveal and conceal different areas so that you don't get repeating patterns. But that's a really quick and easy way to fix hair inside of Photoshop. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.